This is Friday the 13th of December 2013 and we're in a little village called Douglas Bridge and that there's Douglas Burn. Used to be some serious big brown trout in that there years ago but in recent years the fisheries are supposed to be have supposed to have stocked the upper reaches of this here river but we're gonna or this stream but we're gonna walk it down anyway. Quiet little village nothing really in it no shop just the pub up around the corner on the left hand side sportsman um, we're going to walk it on down here now go across this little bridge I think those houses are derelict and we'll soon see if there's any fish because we're going to walk on down to Mulvin and the River Morn We just have to keep moving all the way down through that. It's very tough walking. You can understand why people are not sort of venturing out down along this burn because it's really overgrown each side. Well there seems to be plenty of gravel down around here. You just see the top of that falls there. A build up of good gravel up there also. And that's what fish need. If they want to sort of, if they're coming into a stream to spawn. I know for a fact that you used to get sea trout on this here because all my uncles and relations up along here, they uh, used to catch them. If there's any fish about, that there's pure gravel in there you would find them definitely there right and this is just a tributary off the moor if you know what I mean <coughs> superb gravel in there for reds so I don't want anybody to say that Douglas Burn or any signs up saying the fish spawn here because this here is um, it's only less than two weeks, isn't it? Let's see. Ah, oh, less. Only twelve or twelve days to Christmas. You can see that there's nothing here. I'm not setting out to to run any place down. I'm just stating the facts. Beautiful pool. The ones in the fin are only sort of, they're showing me only half the size of this here. Now that was full of gravel. And really not even a sign of a good trout on it. More gravel. Look at that there for gravel. But no life. Look what's stuck in the middle of this glen. Bee house. My god almighty. How did the people get on here? As I said before, there was probably about maybe 10 or so of a family raised in that there at the one time. And then probably off to America or somewhere like that, or England. But that there's not even a road into this place. In that wee house there. Must be hundreds upon, must be hundreds of years old.
Well, we know where to get a bath anyway. If we're stuck. <laughs> and on down through that. We're getting close to the moor now. I think at the end of that little field down there. And this is where it runs onto the moor. Well, somebody's been out there with a with a digger because you, this here was always narrow. You could always cross it. Now all these here are piled up. That's the burn foot down there, down the bottom. That there's the pan out there. That's an ideal place for a net there. From the point. Doesn't have, a net doesn't have to go across the river. It goes from one point to the end of the rocks. Fish come up, they just don't always move on. The pans are good place for fish settling. So they just come on here for a little breather. And next thing you know they're mashed. Or meshed. Anyway, we will have to go up. I'm only wearing Welton, so I'd like to have a wee look at just Mulvin Bay before I call a halt to this wee trip for the day. It was a bit through there all the time, way back years ago. All the lads from Cyan, Desi Patton, and Tommy Patton, Tommy McKellen, Big Pat Logue, and myself and Fitzharris. Harry Burke even. Some of them boys are deceased now but they were masters in their own right. 